Yo, masturbation back episode three of lose equals restart. We are at 2k. That's where I pushed about a thousand trophies off camera. Why? I don't touch grass. Anyhow, I got my role recruits to level 10, which is really nice. And I made the decision that I want to level up uh, role recruits, role hogs, the meta deck with role hogs, uh, bar barrel and zappies and some other stuff i just don't have the cards to replace it yet because i'm not at the arena where i can get it yet anyway still haven't lost yet also this counts if i lose in any of these game modes it also counts so i made sure not to do that i do have 2500 right now what should i get let's get one of this let's get one of this oh wait hold on boom okay this will be at level eight yay i'm gonna try to get the 24 for 2500 in this video i want to get to that epic chest i'm actually kind of annoyed that i can't get the bar barrel until like a certain amount of trophies it's annoying anyhow let's talk about all the schools i went to as a child i'm pretty sure i've been to like almost every single kind of school except for homeschool actually technically i kind of have i've been to pretty much every kind of school except for a private school Wait, 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 this guy's a level 12 P.E.K.K.A. No, no, i gotta focus up fuck the story i gotta focus up there's no way i lose there's no way I don't believe it. How does he have a level 12? How? Anyway, I'm going to carry on with my story because I realize that these guys are too trash for me to pay my full attention to. <laughs> exactly. That's that, exactly. So yeah, I've been to pretty much every kind of school except for a private school. I've been to a public school. I've been to a charter school. I've been to online school. I've been to homeschool, kind of. And the reason why I say kind of is because the charter school I went to, part of it was homeschooled as well. I don't exactly remember too much, but I remember that it was like kind of homeschooled at the same time. We didn't have Fridays. Actually, it's probably not homeschooling. Never mind. Oh no, he has arrows. Wait, he has arrows and level, level 12 P.E.K.K.A. How do I win this? And I went to many uh, public schools as well. Like, for example, I'll fire about that. For example, I went to an elementary school outside the country. It was a big ass elementary school. It included a middle and high school as well. And there was like electives for elementary schoolers. As long as we get the right tower, I'm good. Okay, now we're probably good. I'm gonna be honest, this is my first holy shit, I might lose moment. But we passed the test with flying colors, so I don't give a fuck. Good game. All right, so about my uh, elementary school that I was talking about before I really interrupted myself with a bunch of stuff. Basically, it had like electives. It was kind of weird. I don't exactly remember how it worked because it was in like first grade. But I do remember that there was a swimming class inside of school. So I had to like bring my swim trunks and it was basically a class now that I think about it It was weird. It was a big-ass school as well because it had a bunch of grades. It was like K through 12 It was crazy the only K through 12 school I went to by the way and the, the school after that I went to was in the US first one I went to was just a normal K through uh, 6 elementary school that was pretty nice i did leave that school when i was in fifth grade though and i switched to a charter school that was a k through seven no k through eight and then i went to a middle school and then went seventh and eighth grade and then went to high school but let's talk about the uh the charter school i went to basically that was probably the most unique school besides that first grade school with a fucking swimming pool also what is up with people on high ass level peckers you know the thing about the charter school is we did not have fridays we had like the least amount of school time for like a public school i think a charter school is considered public schools i have no idea but we had like very little actual school time you're we like monday tuesday wednesdays thursdays and sometimes Mondays were off. It, it was a it was a wild experience. I loved it though, cause less school is better for me, in my humble opinion. The only thing I actually like school about is friends about it. I actually don't remember everything about the charter school I went to, but I just do remember that we did a lot of presenting. It was like a very presenting centric school where it just kind of focused on giving presentations in front of people and stuff like that. We had a shit ton of those. I didn't really like it at the start, but I slowly started to like more and more because I got used to it, you know? And it was a super, like, enclosed school. And by that, I mean, uh, there's no there's no outside campus, pretty much. When it's recess time, it's, it's all indoors. There's no outdoors. It was a very strange school now that I think about it. But I had a great experience there. Met some amazing-ass people. I completely fucked up this stupid ass goblin cage. Great times, great times. I can't lie. Oh, he arrowed. He's probably fucked. Oh my god, this guy's actually somewhat sensible. Oh well, it's almost time for Charles Oliveira to get the fucking belt back. Let's fucking go do it for the olives. Oh shit! Wait, hold on. Like, this might be someone's mini account, and nothing beats the goddamn credit card. I missed a fireball on the tower. Oh well, let's arrow that. Arrow. One shot, one more shot. I win. You know, I probably shouldn't be playing this game at uh, nighttime. That's kind of a thing I learned uh, over the course of playing this game. Just to, like, uh, just a pattern that I recognized. All the sweats come out at nighttime. Why? I don't know. But I have some ideas. Oh, wait. Hold on, boys. We got the rule hogs. No way. 
I have to use it, right? I have to use it. I have to use it instead of a uh, mini uh, mini picker. But then how do I? How do I? Yeah, I'll do it for mini picker. This is scuffed. Alright, uh, boys, the deck is almost complete. What do I need? Okay, so I can keep. Actually, I don't even think I need bar barrel. I can keep arrows. I just need zappies and... Fuck, I don't remember. Wait, what do I need? Hold on. There's no way my memory is this bad. Hold on, let me do some research. Why I queue into a match. Uh... Do -do 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 -do. Decks. Include card. Include this. Apply search filter. Uh... Oh, no! That's it! The only card I'm missing right now is Zappies and Barbaro, I guess. Okay, so the only card I'm missing right now is Zappies and Barbaro. Let's arrow this. I don't even need to arrow that, to be honest. Yeah, I looked at the deck. It's Recruits, Roja. Okay, so the only thing I'm missing is Barbaro and Zappies. Okay, two cards. I can get that. That's right, we're going to run the first ever non-MK Loon meta deck, boys. Well, actually, MK Loon wasn't necessarily a meta deck. It was my deck, though. Fucking trademark that bitch. Anyhow, let's try to use raw hogs for the first time so i can get the master <gasps> don't arrow don't have arrow does he have arrow i don't remember do you guys still play wordle or have you guys ever played wordle i think that was like really popular in my high school and that's i think that's when it became like super popularized why the fuck this guy just go hog into you know what i'm not gonna ask questions it's actually kind of built into my daily ritual i don't know why i just kind of ingrained it in my mind well like every day like when i get onto my computer the first like one of the first tabs i open is wordle i don't know why it just kind of ingrained in me i'm on like a 50 win streak right now and i don't cheat most of the time listen i'm trying to keep my 100 percent win rate up i would cheat when i absolutely have to but the only thing i really do is i get on like my phone so i would get like two attempts to see what the right word is yeah, that was a really short story anyhow let's go level six raw hogs in the pocket that's the only place you can put if you want all five ro four raw hogs to go to the left side never mind he gave up doesn't even matter yay we got a happy emote you know what editor just speed it up until i get the frozen peak Oh, wait, I'm the editor. Yep, that's right. I'm a stupid motherfucker. And I forgot I was editing my own fucking video. Okay, yeah, no, that's about it. Subscribe. Uh, bye. Okay, last match against Ely. Ely. Alright, last match against Charles. That's fucking right. I'm legally changing this guy's name. It's too hard to pronounce. Like, Elias. Elias. El what the fuck? I will be legally changing this man's name to Charles. When he does anything of importance, he's gonna look at his documents and he's gonna see that his legal name is Charles. Anyways, why does he have a level 11 prince? Oh my god. I don't even have a level 11 card yet, and I'm battle pass. I'm pay to win. Okay, we're gonna go with our level 6 royal hogs. About to solo that right side tower, I guarantee you. Come on now. Come on now. Couple more steps. Still gonna win. Right here. One, two. One, two. No! Wait, what? How? Actually, how? What crew? Oh my god, that was the last second. I have to keep reminding myself that I can't lose a single match. Because if I do, I actually just have to restart my whole account, buy a whole new pass route, waste more money than I already fucking did. And let me tell you what, that is not on my bucket list at the moment. Hey! Hey! Is that, is that what it says? I, I don't actually remember. I have not played with game sounds in a minute. Oh yeah, we're at, we're at, we're at Frozen Beak. I, I probably forgot to mention that. I'm just, I'm, I'm stoned to the heavens. Hold on, let's do a little bit of scouting. Next arena, I can get Bar Barrel. That's going to be next video. I'm going to complete the deck. Oh wait, no. Wait, when can I get Zappies? There, ah, oh, fuck, that's Hogman. Uh, I'll be like two videos away, but I can... I can get Barbaro next video, Zappies the next video to complete the deck. I kind of really want to and really need to get Barbaro because I have so much uh, of these epic wild cards that are just hanging around, not being used. And I'm one of those people where if I see something hanging around, not being used, I have to use it. I'm just, I don't know. I can't really see something hanging around. I have to like spend every last bit. Funny enough, I used to be the exact opposite as a kid where I would try to save as much as possible. But now I'm the exact opposite. It's very situation. Bro, damn. Why are these people? How do these people have such high level cards? Feline leukemia. I don't know why that just popped up in my head. Does that happen with you guys? Where just random words or stuff just pop in your head at random times and you don't know where you heard it from? Is feline talking about like cats and stuff? Yeah, I, pr I probably should have. I probably should have done my homework instead of recording these dumbass YouTube videos. I'm not losing, but I'm not really getting 
too much progress at the same time. That's only because his levels are so damn high. I thought I was an over level motherfucker, but this guy came up with a competition. Let's prediction fireball arrows. Easy. Game too easy. I never really knew what a good idea would be to like, oh shit, to like collaborate with another creator. Like, what would you do? It's not really a fun game mode where you can play with someone else, you know? You have to pretty much think of something creative or it just doesn't work out. That's kind of how it goes with collaborating because there's no like, it's not like fucking, what, Fortnite where you can play like duos or something like that. I guess there is because it's 2v2, but if they implemented like 2v2 ladder with all that stuff, I think that would actually be so much more fun. Actually, hold on. I think I might be on something. 2v2 ladder with voice chat. Boom. Revive the game. Yeah, it'll probably turn into a very toxic fucking COD lobby. But there will be options to turn off voice mic thing. And it can be like, you know how like there's normal ladder, there's trophy run, and there's rank ladder. It can be like one of those game modes. Not game modes, but one of those like, uh, versions kind of. Where it's not the only source of ladder. Because if you don't have a teammate or if you don't want to random queue and risk your chances then you don't have to, you know? I feel like 2v2 ladder would be sick. And I'm saying that in the most biased way possible because you can do so much, like, channel collaborations. No, I misclicked my flying machine. Oh, well. Because the only thing I can really do with another creator right now that, I, like, I kind of enjoy in a way is, like, 1v1ing them. See, I don't know. 2v2 ladder with voice chat? Man, I would, I would go. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no. I can see why people would not like that, but I can also see why people would like that. There would be so much funny moments, clips, masturbating. Oh, wait, sorry. I was looking at my clan name. But, you know, all the good stuff. Let's collect the... Oh, shit. I, did... I forgot about that. I can't do it because I don't want to do that. I mean, it's probably better because I would have a chance to get Bar Barrel if I open that after I get the Jungle Arena. Yeah, I I'm going to just do that. Yeah, no, that that's about it. Thanks for watching another episode of Masturbation. I will see you guys in episode 4. I'm gonna go hurt myself.